Hello students, again I am here to discuss an important topic on the thorax. And you know in the thorax there are so many important features of which is lung is one of them. So I will uh, tell you a topic just related to the lung. And very often one question comes in your theory examination and also in the practical examination you may be asked what is lung, hilum, what is the root of the lung. But students they became confused. So I like to clarify these two particular terms. So let us see the lung first then I will discuss you what is the root of the lung and what is the hilum of the lung. Though it is very simple but students may be confused sometimes. You see this is the lung and this lung having three surfaces this is the medial surface. In the medial surface you will get this hilum and in the hilum can you see the so many structures they are passing through the hilum. These structures artery, vein, lymphatics, nerves, bronchus so many. I will uh, tell you later on and this is the another lung on the right side. This is also hilum. So on the medial surface of right lung and medial surface of left lung you will see the hilum is there. And each lung is covered by a serous membrane which is glistening and this membrane is called the pleura and as because this pleura it is intimately attached to the viscera that means lung it is called visceral pleura and it covers all the surfaces of the lung including fissures and on the medial side when it reaches the hilum at the periphery of the hilum this visceral pleura reflects as parietal pleura like this and this pleura it covers the apical part known as apical pleura it covers the costal side or costal surface called costal pleura then diaphragmatic surface called diaphragmatic pleura and on the medial side that is called mediastinal pleura. So these four pleural parts are the parts of the parietal pleura but visceral pleura it is inside the parietal pleura and it covers the whole of the lung intimately attached to the lung surface. So here you will get the reflection of the visceral pleura from the parietal pleura. Both sides of the lung the same thing occurs. If I show you some basic anatomy of the trachea very shortly, very short, in short. Suppose this is the trachea, it divides into right bronchus and left bronchus called principal bronchus or main bronchus and this bronchus again gives rise to one lower bronchus called upper lower bronchus or right upper lower bronchus and this bronchus continues downwards as called bronchus intermedius. This is bronchus intermedius. This bronchus intermedius again gives rise to a, another bronchus that is called middle lobe bronchus and it continues downwards and laterally this one this is middle lobe bronchus it is lower lobe bronchus what happens the lung is like this if i draw the lung oh sorry lung so in the lung on the medial surface you can, you can see here is the opening for this bronchus and here is another opening for this bronchus. So this bronchus and this bronchus passes through this opening and through this opening. So there are two openings on the medial surface of the lung and in between these two there is an artery passes that is called pulmonary artery. This is pulmonary artery. So this bronchus above this artery. So this bronchus is called if arterial bronchus. If arterial bronchus. If means AP. AP means above. 
so above the artery above the artery which artery it is pulmonary artery so this bronchus is above the pulmonary artery so it is called if arterial bronchus and this bronchus is below the pulmonary artery so it is called hip arterial bronchus hip h y p hip arterial again hip means hypo hypo means below below so this bronchus is hypo or below this pulmonary artery so it is called hip arterial bronchus so on the right lung or right hilum you will get upper lobe bronchus or hip arterial bronchus then pulmonary artery then hip arterial bronchus besides this the pulmonary vein one superior and one inferior two pulmonary veins they come out through the hilum and enter into the left atrium of the heart and same thing occurs on the left side but the difference is that if this is the outline of the lung of the lung this, on the left side this is the bronchus it enters into the left lung and artery is here so this is pulmonary artery so this bronchus below the pulmonary artery on the left side no bronchus above the artery so no hip arterial bronchus on the left side only you will get the hip arterial bronchus on the left side so one bronchus one pulmonary artery two bronchus one pulmonary artery but two veins on the left side and two veins on the right side so in the both sides you will get superior and inferior pulmonary vein superior and inferior pulmonary veins so all together there are so many structures including the bronchus pulmonary artery pulmonary vein and others are lymphatics bronchial vessels they nerves some connective tissue they are also passing through the hilum but some structures they are entering into the hilum and some are coming out from the hilum so what are the structures entering into the lung and what are leaving the lung i am telling you giving this basic anatomical knowledge now i will tell you the what is hilum and what is the root of the lung hilum if you see the hilum in the lung here this is the hilum so hilum is the space it is a depressed space and it is on the medial side of the lung or medial surface of the lung and if i define the what is hilum the answer will be it is a depressed space or area on the medial surface of the lung through which some structures entering into the lung and some structures are coming out from the lung this is the hilum and the level of the vertebral level of the hilum so t5 to t7 vertebral level the hilum is situated and on the left right side also the same thing happens here the structures entering into it coming out through this and this is also a depressed space or area on the medial surface of the lung then what is the root if they are same synonymous sometimes students they confuse because they think that both the things are same root of the lung and hilum of the lung but there is a basic difference what is the difference i told you the pleura reflex around the hilum from visceral to parietal so here you will get a tubular sheath of visceral pleura then parietal pleura can you imagine suppose this is nothing but a cup of nescafe can you see if you imagine for a for a, a few seconds the inner side the white area it is visceral pleura and it is reflecting as parietal pleura which looks like this color deep color so the inner one visceral pleura outer one parietal pleura and the structures passing through this suppose the structures are entering into the hilum are all these things they are passing through this and this structure they are entering into the lung through the hilum yes to the hilum so this is the root so root means the structures connecting the lung with the structures on the medial sternum what is medial sternum it is a space between the medial surface of two lungs so trachea is there 
heart is there so trachea then bronchus entering into the lung then from the heart pulmonary trunk enters into the heart uh, into the lung pulmonary vein from the lung to the heart so heart and trachea mainly they are connected with the lung through this connecting structures so these st structures and the surrounded by the double layer of the pleura inside visceral outside parietal so this thing is the root so root is defined by the structures enveloped by the double layer of pleura connecting the lung with the mediastinal structures mainly the trachea and the heart so if i draw a diagram yes this is the hilum of one side and this is the hilum of other side can you tell me which one is right lung hilum and which one is left lung hilum very simple if you observe this this letter this one the shape of this structure it looks like english alphabet p and this one it looks like english alphabet like q so this is q and this is p this is p and this is q more or less so q means the right and p means it is left so it is left lung hilum and is right lung hilum and remember we always now using uh, qr code here and there so qr code means qr so q for right lung remember like this so this is right q separate and this is left p separate then what are the structures entering and what are the structures coming out the structures which are entering they are mainly the bronchus and the pulmonary artery then the nerves and the bronchial vessels and the structures which are coming out the superior and inferior pulmonary vein the lymphatics these are the main structures but the important structures which are usually can be shown in the viscera this is the left lung this is left lung this anterior border very thin so it is left lung and here is the heart and this depression or arch area over this hilum is the arch of the aorta then descending aorta like this so here the structures this is artery this is pulmonary artery above this thin wall pulmonary artery and below this the tough wall having cartilages hyaline cartilage so it thick wall this is bronchus this is left lung so there will be one bronchus called below the artery below this pulmonary artery so it will be hip arterial bronchus and in front there is one vein that is superior pulmonary vein and below another vein is there called inferior pulmonary vein so these are the mainly the four structures can you always uh, find in this left lung on the right lung right lung here also structures are visible one is bronchus this one bronchus then artery is here pulmonary artery again bronchus so this bronchus above this artery called hip arterial bronchus and this bronchus below this artery called hip arterial bronchus then one superior pulmonary vein is here this one and here is the inferior pulmonary vein so superior inferior so one structure extra on the right hilum that is the hip arterial bronchus because it divides into two branches before it enters into the right lung so very simple in the examination you must draw a diagram of the hilum so if this is the uh, right lung so above one will be bronchus below another bronchus and in between and above is the artery and pulmonary vein and pulmonary vein so this is bronchus this is artery this is bronchus this is vein this is again vein superior pulmonary vein inferior pulmonary vein 
on the left side suppose artery there is artery vein there is a vein bronchus a bronchus vein vein so no bronchus here no corresponding bronchus on the left lung so very easy to remember b a b v and so it here only a b and v means vein is is this one is superior one is inferior pulmonary vein so blue and black vanished if i tell you like this to remember the structures from above downwards on the right side blue for b a means and i am writing here blue and black vanished so here b stands for the epidural bronchus a stands for pulmonary artery here again b b stands for epidural bronchus then vein inferior pulmonary vein this is superior inferior pulmonary vein is for vein is for v or inferior pulmonary vein but on the left side there is no upper lobe bronchus so this thing is not present on the left hyla so in summary i can tell you if you are asked what is hyla and what is the root of the lung very simple answer you will give hilum is a space or an area on the medial side of each lung just space and root of the lung it is the structures which connects the mediastinal structures with the lung like that of a stalk or pedicle suppose uh, this is a an organ and this is a stalk this is lung this is the stalk or pedicle so these structures they are covered by or encircled by or enveloped by the pleura visceral pleura and parietal pleura both the layers of pleura like this here so these structures and the pleura this is called the root and this space where they are entering this area is called the hilum so this is hilum and here is the root is it clear i think it is very clear to you now the root and the hilum so don't forget to remember the definition and structures passing through the hilum and what are the contents of the root the, all the contents of the root they will enter through the hilum and the area through which the structures passing this is the hilum this is the main difference so thank you very much for listening this topic i will come with the another topic on the next video so that's all for today thank you please click on the like button and of course subscribe it and share to your friends thank you